Good morning, South Rock, and welcome to another weekly devotion in the story. We are in week 20, which means we get to talk about Esther all week. I'm very excited for this book. It's such a good story about a fantastic woman after God's own heart in the face of all sorts of struggle. Uh, And there's a lot of stories we can talk about Esther, a lot we can pull from, but there's a sentence that caught my attention from the beginning, and it's actually about Mordecai. Now, we know from that in this book, there are really two main characters who are set apart, Mordecai and Esther. But the first really hint of who Mordecai is as a person comes when it says this, Mordecai had a cousin cousin named Hadassah, whom he had brought up because she had neither father nor mother. And that seems like a little bit of a throwaway line. We think, okay, so he adopted this girl who, who was an orphan. That's, that's fantastic. That's so kind of him. But really think about this situation that they're in. He's adopting his uncle's daughter. He's adopting his cousin, which for a lot of us, we might go, yeah, we, we might do that today. We might adopt a cousin, especially a young cousin who, who lost their parents. But in this time, that's not really a precedent that has been set. That's not really something that you seek after because in this time, having another mouth to feed could cost you life and death, could cost you a lot of things. It's a lot harder uh, in this time period to adopt someone, let alone a female cousin. Now, again, this is the sign of the times, but in this time, women couldn't own a ton of property. They couldn't really bring about a lot of profit to the house. And so bringing in a daughter was exceptional act of kindness. Bringing in a female cousin, that, that was even crazy. And to do it when you're not in your home country, to, to be a country in exile in another country, hundreds of miles away from where your family was, was raised and born and died and struggled, to be away from that and then go, I'm going to adopt my female cousin. Today would be an extraordinary act of kindness. And this book and this time period and what's happening here, it's beyond an extreme act of kindness. It, it's extraordinary. It's once in a lifetime. And because of that, it changes everything about the story from this point on. It becomes where Esther is now in in the face of all this, she went from an orphan to uh, a queen. And so the thing I want to really hammer home for you today and, and this week is we talk about little acts of kindness all the time, but we never talk about the extraordinary acts of bravery that faith takes. And so I want you to be on the lookout this week, not for little acts of kindness. How can we you know, brighten someone's day? I want you to be looking out for extraordinary acts of bravery that might shape the history of an area, the history of a person's family, the history of who knows what, because that's what Mordecai did. He just saw a girl that lost her parents who he had no legal obligation to according to the Jewish law and still said, I want her. So that's all I have. I hope you have a great week.